this tutorial, I will be going over a shell wreath ornament. It's Nicole here and welcome back to Bochi Not Macrame. In today's tutorial, we will be going over a small intricate wreath pattern with beads. What's unique about this pattern is that we've made our knots surrounding the beads, sort of forming like a shell-like pattern for the beads. We've combined the use of double half-inch knots, the vertical lark side knot, and the half-inch knot to make this pattern. Because we are placing the bead in the center of the knot pattern, we do need to expand on the knotted pattern on the sides. Hence why we are adding a few double half-inch knots, half-inch knots, and vertical arc side knot to expand that pattern further. This is a good knotting technique to know that you can apply across many of your other macrame projects. This is a super fun and unique pattern to make, and with that all said, let's jump right in. You only require two materials for this pattern, macrame cord and some large hole beads. The cord I'll be using for this pattern is a really soft premium single strand cord from our Lush line in bamboo. So this cord is made 100% of bamboo. It is super soft, has a nice silky shine to it, and is really comfortable on the hands. If you're looking for a cord with a subtle sheen, then this would be it. You will need some large hole beads because we are using three millimeter single strand cord. The hole needs to be at least five millimeter in size in order to fit through two strands of cord. I will be using these pink metallic beads. If you are interested in any of the materials I have used in this pattern, you can check out the links in the video description below. To start, we're going to pin or tape down a strand of cord at 110 centimeters long horizontally. Then leaving approximately 5 inches on the left horizontal end, we're going to take another 110 centimeter long cord vertically and we're going to make a double half inch knot onto the horizontal cord. We should also leave about 5 inches of cord length at the top end of the vertical cord as well. Then taking another 110 centimeter long cord, make another double half inch knot right beside this one. Once done, this is what the pattern should look like. We will now take a strand of 300 centimeter long cord folded in half. We're going to attach it to the right of the two double half inch knots here. Onto the horizontal anchor cord with a reverse lark's head plus half inch knot. So starting with a reverse lark's head knot, then take the right end, make a half inch knot on the right side. Then with the left cord end, we're going to make a half inch knot on the left side. Now that the pattern is set up like this, we can continue on with our first shell section. So what we're going to do is bring the anchor cord over to the left. The next vertical cord over to the left will be the working cord for a double half inch knot. You do want the pattern to start curving side 
ways downwards. Now, before we continue on with the knotted pattern, take the next vertical cord to the left. We're going to thread the large hole bead through this strand of cord. Now back onto the knot pattern on the right side, we're going to use the same working cord and same anchor cord. And we're going to take the working cord underneath and over through the loop end to make a half inch knot, but this knot essentially completes the vertical lark's head knot on the side. But what we just added was a half inch knot going under and over, and now we're going to make a half hitch knot going over and under and through the loop to tighten. Now we're ready to move down to the next cord, which is the cord we threaded the bead with, and we're going to make a double half hitch knot to the left onto the same anchor cord. Then with the remaining two vertical cords to the left, make two more double half inch knots to the left. We want to pull on them as tightly as possible, but you do have to keep in mind that there is a bead there. If you pull on it too tight, the bead will either scrunch up or scrunch the other way. So you do need to leave a little bit of room with this double half inch knot. So you do have to get it as close as possible, but not too, too tight. then finish off with the last double half a knot at the end. Now we're going to bring the anchor cord over to the right for a full row of double half hitch knots to the right. So we had started that first shell pattern by mounting all our cords onto the anchor cord. Now we're going to start our first shell pattern with rows of double half hitch knots all the way. With of course the extra half hitch knots we will add on the sides that we will go over again. So once we have completed our row of double half inch knots to the right, we're going to take the same working cord and anchor cord we had just used, and we're going to point it downwards for a double half inch knot. Now we're going to thread a bead through the next vertical cord to the left. Then back on the right side, what we're going to do is go under and over for a half inch knot. And then 
To finish off the last one, we're going to go over and under. Now we're going to complete the rest of this row of double half inch knots for three double half inch knots to the left. And we have now completed our second shell pattern, but first full pattern with double half hitch knots and half hitch knots. Add seven more of these shell patterns for a total of nine shell patterns all around. Once done, this is what the pattern should look like. There should be a bead within every shell pattern. And now to seal the pattern off, we're going to turn the pattern upside down. And starting from the bottom of the wreath, so right now it's the top of the wreath just because with how it is placed, but we're going to take the left and right cords and we're going to thread them through with your crochet hook or weaving needle through the loops on the opposite sides. So with the right cord end, we're going to thread it through the left side. And then with the left cord, we're going to thread it through a loop on the right side. We're now going to take the next two groups down on both sides and we're going to repeat the same thing two more times. If you need to, you can thread the cord ends through the same loops. As you can see here, we have three strands of cords on the right and three strands of cords on the left. Now, if your knots are very secure, you can just snip off the excess cords now. Or for me, I want some extra security, so I'm just going to tie some overhand knots with the cord ends before I cut off the excess cords. Now repeat the same thing on the other side. Now for the very last knot, what we're going to do is we're going to take that second last cord on the other side, we're going to thread it through a top loop on the other side so that there is a long strand of cord hanging from both sides up at the top. Now we're going to gather both cord ends with some tape and then thread through one large hole bead. Now directly above the bead, we're going to form an overhand knot. Okay. 
Then skipping a few inches, make another overhand knot up at the top to form the handle of the ornament. Last but not least, cut off the excess cord ends. And we are now complete with this shell wreath ornament. That concludes our shell wreath ornament pattern. What did you guys think of this? Did you like the knotting technique used to add more knots to the outside of each section? Let me know in the comment section below. Christmas ornaments are fun little crafts that can be easily personalized so you can incorporate different types of beads, different types of sparkly cords, all while trying to make it stand out. Personalize it to your own style and taste, but most importantly, have fun while doing it. I'm super excited to see what you guys create. If there are other ornament ideas or requests you guys would like to see, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.